What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the HomePod Mini. So as you guys have probably guessed, I have already taken her out of the old box. It's actually really hard to open the box when the HomePod's not in it because there's no weight to it. If you give it a little juice, it opens. Nice cute little box, very well made as you'd expect from Apple, but you've got your little quick start guide in there. You have some plastic holding things together. You've got your instruction manual here. You have a sticker as well. It's actually kind of um, stuck to the actual little paper itself. Nothing else really in the box as far as instructions go. Now you do have the little USB-C cable that runs out of the HomePod itself. And so because of that, they have to give you a brick. Unlike the original HomePod, that was all one kind of two prong connected cord. This one is just a USB-C on the other end. So they give you a little USB-C brick. So it gives you a little orange flashing light on the screen and you don't want that because it won't work correctly. So make sure you use the one that they give you in the box, but a really nice, pretty box, very small. You, you really have to see it in person to realize how small it is. But let's go ahead and get into the actual star of the show here, and that is the HomePod mini itself. So it's very tiny, as you can see here. It's about 3.3 inches tall, and I'd say close to the same wide. So it's very small in comparison to the home actual HomePod, which is about double its size, if not more. So it's very clean, exactly the same type of kind of mesh finish that you see with the glossy top that has the LED lights on it to where it'll light up for Siri, it'll light up for um, play and pause and all that kind of stuff. And again, like I mentioned, the cord is already connected, so you cannot remove that without taking the thing apart or destroying it in some way. And on the other end, like I said, there is a USB-C cord. So that is what you get on the other end and then you get the little adapter in the box. It's the same size as the one you get with like the iPad Pro or for the new iPhone for fast charging. And it has a little uh, pad on the bottom to where you can peel this little adhesive off and then you get the nice Apple logo and a nice rubbery pad so it's not gonna slide around too much on your desk or your table or wherever you do decide to put it. So setup is super simple as you'd expect from any Apple product. You have the little glowing light on the top. It's gonna make a nice little noise letting you know it's ready to be set up. And then all you do is hold it up next to the HomePod. You'll get a little picture on screen of the HomePod itself. Go ahead and hit set up. You can choose which room it's in in your home if you do use HomeKit, which I do very heavily. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Office. Then it'll kind of guide you through some setup. Like, do you wanna use personal requests? Siri for everyone. Then you can pick which Apple ID you want it to be on. So I'm just gonna use my Apple ID. Go ahead and hit setup. And then you'll do the same kind of thing that you do with your phone or with the original HomePod. And it will, you'll hold it uh, over the screen there in the center and boom it lights up just like that and it starts setting up. So it takes a little bit to set up, I'd say a good minute to two minutes to set up, but once it's ready, you can do all the standard things you're used to doing on the other HomePod. So you can set up two of them in stereo mode. I only have one, unfortunately, so I can't really test this, but you can actually use a HomePod mini and the regular HomePod in stereo mode, which is kind of cool. You can control them independently. Uh, as well, which I definitely tested. I did also some tests on volume, and as you'd expect, the HomePod mini is much, much less bass heavy and much, much less loud than the original HomePod. And really that's to be expected, and it would be unfair to assume that something this small could have the, you know, bass power and the just overall loudness that something double or a little over double its size would have. So that's to be expected, it's all ready now. So you can do all your standard things that you could do with the normal HomePod. So if I go ahead and unplug my other HomePod so it doesn't uh, <clears throat> start registering, you can say things like, hey Siri, what's the weather today? It's, sorry, starting again. It's currently clear and 61 degrees. Expect mostly cloudy skies starting in the afternoon. 
Temperatures are heading down from 61 degrees to 46 tonight. That's not ideal. Or you can say things like, uh, let's see. <clears throat> hey Siri, tell me a joke. If your band ever goes out on tour, make sure you bring along a Latvian sound engineer. And a check one, two. And a check one, two. Yikes. You can also do things like ask it to play music. Play some music. Sure. Here's some music picked just for you. Ask it to set timers. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes counting down. It can read messages for you that you receive. You can even use the new intercom system, which is really cool. So lots of nice features. Now let's take a little bit of size comparison here with the original HomePod. So I've got it right here, same color, which is the white color. I wish I had the space gray because I absolutely love the space gray, but we'll go ahead and plug this bad boy in. And as you can see, it is significantly smaller. So maybe, yeah, maybe about double the height and maybe double the width. So it's quite a bit bigger. They have the same kind of glossy top with the plus and minus buttons to turn the volume up and down, the little glowing LEDs to activate Siri, all the same kind of features. They have the exact same finish. Uh, and the bottom is a little bit different. It's more rubberized on the original HomePod, but you know, you also get the nice handoff feature to where if you have your phone playing music and you walk into the room, you can kind of set, you know, your phone next to the side of the HomePod and it will automatically transfer it over and start playing it out of the HomePod mini or the original HomePod, whichever one you want to do, which is a really cool feature Just to have. Like it gets loud. So if we go ahead and bring another speaker up and I'm gonna have to switch songs so I don't get a copyright strike. You all know the drill. volume out of this thing. I mean, surprisingly good. It obviously cannot compete with the regular HomePod. That's just impossible. I mean, look at how big this thing is and how many drivers and, you know, tweeters and all kinds of stuff are in here. Stop. But for the price, it sounds pretty freaking good. And to be able to use it in that stereo mode like that is awesome. I absolutely love it. Let's test out the intercom feature here. So if you go to the home app, press the intercom, Testing, intercom test one. Press the intercom. Testing, Press the intercom test one. Testing, intercom test one. I actually think it sounds better out of the HomePod mini. Let's do another test. So I'm gonna get rid of the original HomePod or actually unplug it here so we can hear what it sounds like and make sure the HomePod mini's turned all the way up here. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Testing, intercom, test, test. Hey, could you grab me a sandwich, please? Testing, intercom, test, test. Hey, could you grab me a sandwich, please? Nice, okay. Let's put the other HomePod back in. Intercom, test, testing, testing. Hey, could you grab me a drink out of the fridge? Intercom test, testing, testing. Hey, could you grab me a drink out of the fridge? It's, it's just, I love it. I don't know, it's awesome. Such a cool feature to have. But I think overall, just kind of as a broad strokes thing, the thing that I like the most about it is just the size and the convenience of it. And I think it sounds pretty good in comparison. 
Now I have a Google Home Mini that is in our bathroom and that thing gets decently loud but it starts to really degrade quality wise the louder you get it. So you really can't put it above maybe two or three notches. Whereas this I haven't really heard much degradation of the audio, more so just how thin it is comparatively to the other HomePod. That's the biggest thing I've noticed. But maybe having two of these, if you had like, you know, like an office desk where you sometimes watched movies via a monitor, having one on either side of your desk would be really nice. And again, these come in at about $99. And I mean, you really cannot argue with how good this thing looks. It is an absolutely beautiful piece of technology with the glossy LED top, with the volume controls, to this mesh finish. Just, it's that same premium look that you come to expect from an Apple product. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, have you picked up a HomePod mini? What do you think about it? Do you prefer the white or the space gray? I kinda wanna pick up both because I think the space gray looks so good, but we'll stick with white for now. Let's have a conversation down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.